Hey, how you doing? Do you, do you ever feel stuck? Right? Like, like temptation just seems to effortlessly have its way and you give in and then you feel guilty, right? And you're stuck in that cycle and you make that promise. You make it to yourself, you make it to your family, you make it to God. And, and, but here's the problem. You can promise all you want and you can say all you want. Hey, I'm not going to do it again. But if you keep doing it again, that's going to be a problem. And, and it's going to just repeat and it's going to repeat and it's going to repeat. And, and a lot of times the plain truth of the matter, the fighting words you need to hear today are, are aimed right at your habits. Aimed right at what you keep doing. Because I don't want you to, to be stuck there. Paul says in Romans 13, here's your fighting word for today, Romans 13, 14. He says, put on the Lord Jesus Christ. So instead of all these bad things, right? And, and in the verse before this, he, he's, he's asking us to cast off works of darkness, put on the armor of light. He goes, let's, let's walk properly as in the daytime, not in orgies, drunkenness, sexual morality, sensuality, quarreling, and jealousy, man. I mean, that's the stuff of our world, isn't it? All of us are dealing with some level of those things, fighting with others, right? Lusting after others, um, being greedy, being arrogant, all those things. He's saying, look, just get rid of those things. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ. Trust Him. Let Him cover you with that forgiveness, with that love. And that is the ultimate fighting word. I'm saved. I'm forgiven. I am God's child. He loves me. And he says, and make no provision for the flesh to gratify its desires. Don't give it any time. Don't give it a place in your schedule. So maybe we need to fill up our schedule with the things of God, with the work that you do that is God-pleasing, right? That, that maybe it's your job. Maybe, maybe it's some appointments. Maybe it's some time with your family. Maybe it's some time with friends. It certainly has got to be some time in prayer and in Bible study. What you want to do is grab your phone or your calendar, whatever you do, and just begin to fill it out. Not with, not with meaningless stuff. Right? Fill it with fighting words, man. Fill it with, with the things of God. Fill it with the things you say, I, this is how I'm going to live. I'm not going to leave any room in my day. Right? And, and maybe you do that for the next couple of months or maybe you just do this for the next couple of hours and say, hey, this is how I'm going to live. And, and what if we said to the devil, to those temptations, like you, 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 you don't get a slot. You, you don't get to use my time anymore. And again, this is a battle. This is a struggle. The devil's going to come back at you and go, ah, who are you? And, and we can say, you know what? I'm really nobody. But I am God's child. I am loved by Him. He gave His life for me. See, the devil ain't never going to do that for you. I can trust, you can trust me on that. There's no way. He's only there, as we heard a couple days ago. He's there to kill, destroy. He's a thief. He's a liar. It's time for us to, to call that out and to say, you know what? I, I want to listen to, to God because he's, he's always true. He's all about truth. He's the way, the truth, and the life. See, there's so much in the scripture that God just wants to pour into us, that He just wants to give us as our, a way to, to deal with what we're dealing with and to embrace Him and who He is and the life that He gives to us every single day. Man, those are the ultimate fighting words that we have, these words of truth, these words of hope because they're His words, God's words for us. All right, I'm Pastor Fred. This has been the follow-through, uh, Fighting Words. We're doing these all summer long. I'm hoping they help you. If, if so, let us know in the comments. Uh, m- maybe you have some of your own Fighting Words, some verses that just really, really help you in the fight. Maybe once you've, 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 you've just like you've internalized them and, and, they're, and they're all about. In fact, I would encourage you to, to do that with all of these. Uh, I have a list on my phone that I, that I go to all the time. In fact, it's on my home screen. Uh, boom, it's right there. 
uh, and I can, I can easily access it. I don't have to search uh, and it's there to help me because uh, I need these, uh, these weapons in this battle. I need this truth about God for me, that he is for me and he's for you today. All right, I pray that that just gives you life in Jesus. All right, have a great day. Talk to you next time.